Hello, good morning. Let's do a little walkthrough. You got cactus down there, some more succulents under here. And this Palo Verde tree, amongst all the annual growth. Got the lavender doing pretty good. The popcorn acacia. It's got a trunk is looking nice and thick. More daikon radish. And their seed pods are pretty ready for eating. Flower stock coming up off of the red yucca. Pomegranates coming. Coming back with nice green growth. I'm going to harvest some of this kale, but you got all that kale growing. Oh, we even got some volunteers pumpkin down there. We'll see if they take and continue. Got the popcorn acacia right here with a California poppy stinging nettle. There's a mix of plants in this, man. There's some wheat, daikon radish, um, potatoes growing down there, stinging nettle, then the cactus. Texas sage is coming. California poppy opening up to the morning sun. Got the pond covered up since now. It's good. In springtime, summer's coming. Put more shade there. Got some points where some sun can still come in. Over here I have some biochar being inoculated, charged up with nutrients and minerals. All right, let's go check this side out. This Palo Verde is getting some leaf, leaf growth going. Now this little pup is coming from this agave right here. Pond's currently filled with some wood I'm gonna burn. Turn it into biochar. There we got the grape. A little trellis built around it for now. Cactus. Some flowers. Look at this cilantro right here. It's going mad, man. Going a bit bonkers, <laughs> and these seem to have a different type of flower than the ones last year. These are from the seeds that I harvested 
last year and saved that grew here at this site. The bladder, bladder pod getting visited by a lot of bees, no doubt. Another cilantro. Good flavor on it. Right here is a little basin. And right here is, it's about two feet in the ground. But the PVC pipe with holes drilled in on the side. Fill it up with water, nutrients. Fungi inoculant, some crushed up biochar, and other compostables. Throw them in there every once in a while. Fertilize this whole little area. There's some wheat grass patches. Here's the other pomegranate. I also have a mesquite right here. Doesn't look like nothing's coming up. Palo Verde. Birdhouse. Some sorghum, corn, and big algeta seeds. Just because I want the birds to eat the seeds and poop them around. We have some sorghum popping up right here. Palo Verde. Oh, and this tomato seed took off i guess and now there's a tomato growing here we'll see how that does if it survives long enough to bear fruit then i'll be saving those seeds for sure but other than the maintenance that gets irrigated once every two weeks that's all it's gonna get so good luck buddy Here we have a bunch of daikon radishes. There's some clover down there next to this, this fella. There's a date palm. We got this pine tree doing pretty good. Trunk is getting thicker. Full of needles, full of new growth. It's doing great. Cactus. Here we have, uh, I think this is daikon radish, but this is different than the others. Let me know. But underneath it, that's what's really growing. I have a jojoba right there. A little sapling. Palo Verde tree. Cacti with some California poppies. And here we have the mulberry, some stinking nettle next to it. Future aquaponics tank. Got this fig. Grapes doing good. Palo Verde's doing good. Wheats are fine. This mulberry doing good. Palo Verde's doing good. Cactus. Olive. This guy's producing popcorn acacia. All right, y'all. That's about the end of the video. Have a good one.